Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you the best settings and gameplay of Portal 2. To get 30 or 60 frames per second, basically just max out the settings. So go to options, go to video, make sure the resolution is on, on the highest, so native resolution, which is great, and go to advanced video. By default, this will set the MSA, MSAA to 4, set to 8, you know, it's it's fine, you, you'll be all good to go. And keep everything else on max, it should by default be on max anyway. And yeah, <laughs> that's it, literally, you won't have any issues. I'm using an Xbox controller, you can use the built-in Steam Deck controls, they work flawlessly, as you would expect, considering the game by Valve and it's hardware by Valve. So let me, I'm just going to start a new game. And I'm going to show you some gameplay now. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will Man, hear the graphics buzzer. look when good you hear the on buzzer, the third of the Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. <laughs> if you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Ah! Oh, God, you look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. I, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? 
Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. device on the floor. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <coughs>
This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you.
Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that... All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch Ow! I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. Pick, would you pick me up? <laughs> and off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. up to speed on something right now in order to escape we're gonna have to go through her chamber and she will probably kill us if if she's um awake okay i'm gonna leave the cards on the table i don't want to do it i don't want to go in there don't don't go in there don't, she, she's off she's off don't panic over she's off all fine on we go there she is what a nasty piece of work she was honestly like a proper maniac do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so... Um... Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. I was quoting God. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. It's not a problem. A, 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 A. Um, A, 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 A. Wait, 
Did I do beat up jar pens? Oh, right, these days. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. Okay. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing. Hello? Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know. After you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. The silence. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burnt when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you are back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do.
This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Okay, so there you go. You've seen almost half an hour of gameplay of Portal 2 running on the Steam Deck. Silky smooth, 60 frames per second, max settings. There's a link in the description to a compatibility list where you'll be able to see which games are verified, supported, unsupported. You know the recommended settings for them. If you can run at 30, 60 frames per second at a glance. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments the next, you know, gameplay benchmark test that you would like to see for the Steam Deck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.